hey guys what's good welcome back to my youtube channel my god today is a very very emotional day for me and whew, and today is a day that i have to just give thanks to god i've been giving thanks to him but no matter how much i say thank you, you can never be enough and i'm gonna use my platform to inspire someone with the same story or someone that has the same story because see at the end of the day god has a way of using our stories for his glory <sighs> When I get my son's Canadian passport, it's been hell. <laughs> Let me use that word. You know, to apply for a passport here in Canada, you have to apply for a birth certificate first of all. So it's with that birth set you use to apply for your Canadian passport. So in my own case, usually a birth certificate would take three to five days max and you get it. But in my own case, when I applied, after I applied, it didn't just take three days, it didn't just take five days, it took a week from a week, it went to two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. And guys, I'm supposed to have, well, rather I have a, um, I'm supposed to leave Canada on a certain date because there are other things I have to do back in Ghana. So I had, I have a, my ticket was like two and four, I bought a two-way ticket, you know, and I was supposed to leave Canada at a certain date, which that date hasn't come yet, thank God. So when it got to the sixth week, I mean, before the sixth week, I kept on calling these people, like telling them, like, you know, I have to leave Canada by this date and I need to apply for my son's passport and not also passport application. After I get a passport, I have to apply for a visa for him because he's not a Ghanaian or Nigerian citizen, so he needs a visa to come into Ghana. So the whole process was giving me headache. In fact, I wanted to even leave earlier than the dates I had scheduled to leave. Um, Canada when I leave earlier, but you know God just has a way of doing things <sighs> My goodness, I was in fact it was it was a moment for me that I always cry because I hear stories People be like oh, why is your special get taking time? Why is it taking time? People say oh they go down in one week two weeks. I'm like what is happening guys after the fifth week I had to now reapply the other day like after the third week passed i would always call these people telling them they were like oh it's on the way it's on the way finally on the fourth week i got information that the passport i mean the birth certificate had been missing it's missing a transit i was like oh my god how did this happen do you understand it was really like how did this happen how did my own birth certificate get missing in transit my son's birth certificate so because of this i had to travel all the way to toronto to their main office and had to apply for something else called a copy of birth registration i will explain what that means in another video or this same video i'm gonna put a video after this i don't know but i'm gonna explain what that means in another video so i had to do that um what's it called i had to apply and i had to in person and when i went there the guys i'm in Boston, and i'll show you how god works when i got there i did the application and i told them can i get another birth certificate they were like no you can't get another birth certificate and i was like why like what is going on you know so i was like okay i told them everything and i told them and to even get this copy of birth registration you have to bring like um proof that you have to leave canada by a certain date so i had to like print out my travel itinerary which i did i printed it out i took it there with some other documents that they asked for with also a letter, you have to write a written letter. Mine was typed, yeah, typed letter, personal letter, telling them why you need this and what is going on. So after that, they told me to call back in like three days. Guess what, guys? When I called back, guess what they said? They told me that they did not receive my application. And they, and the person at the front counter, she didn't give me a receipt. And I didn't really, I don't know why I didn't ask for one, to be honest. But she didn't give me a receipt or anything. No tracking number, nothing. Hey, God. That day, I bawled my eyes out. I really, really cried. I was like, what is this? And then trust me see god god is just always on time he's not a god that will lie he's a quick quick god when he wants to start with you it's so fast let me bust your heads so about three days later no before the three days later i went into a mode of prayer like every night i got on my knees and i would cry to god and pray and it wasn't easy for me because i'm still in the process of healing from my c-section i'm just in pain sometimes and i'm just like all over the place with my son i got into a mode of prayer and when i said praying i said to just leave everything to god i said god you know what if you want me to remain in this canada i don't know what is going on just take have your way let your will take the will and let your will be done like if this is not for me let this call pass but if not let your will be done i was just praying reading the word that was all i was doing and that is what i'm still doing so about three days later i got a call from these people they said they called me and they said number one not only did they find my registration my my application they were like your copy of better registration is on the way and mind you also i didn't even mention this to get 
an express of this copyright registration the board has to like approve you and that was why i didn't even apply for express for my son's um birth certificate because it's not allowed the child has to be up to 16 weeks to be eligible to apply for an express service so you see where my dilemma was so they called me and they said oh we found the application but payment was not made Some, something like that the payment that i made apparently through my card did not go so like okay please we make payments number one they said we'll grant you your premium service which which on a normal day is not possible for a child under 16 weeks and my son is just how old like eight weeks number two they told me that they had reprinted my son's birth certificate something that they said that they might not reprint until 16 weeks that was what they mentioned at the counter i forgot to mention that they said that they would reprint it i'm just here like on my channel i know yeah this channel is for content and everything but i'm just using this platform to give god the glory and also inspire somebody see there's this song called we behold he said how long can you wait how long can you pray how long can you wait for god like i told myself that i don't care if it takes an eternity if this be the end of i will pray and pray and not say bible says pray without season I was just losing everything. The Bible says everything you lose on earth will lose in heaven. Everything, you, every I was just praying. I was, and when I got that phone call, I was like, "Oh my God, what? We print something that they said they couldn't do, and also give me the copy of birth registration on time because I was like, wow." Because they always nice like two weeks or three weeks to get a copy of the when it came on time. Guys, after I got that phone call, it didn't take four days after that phone call, I received my child's birth certificate. And I was like, wow. And not just, let me even go back to that radio I received that coin. See how God works. You see, there was an outstanding bill for a hospital visit that I had to pay for my son. Right? This is just in a random of what God did that very day that I got that phone call. And the bill was like 600 and something. And I was trying to appeal that. I wanted the bill to be less because I felt like they were not being partial. And this bill had been appealing for like three weeks. So I'd even forgotten about it. Do you know that that same day that I got the call from the service um, Ontario people, those are people that work with the birth certificate, the same day, less than 10 minutes, I got a call from the hospital telling me that, you know what, you don't have to pay that $651. Just pay what you have anything even if it's 50 70 dollars just pay it anything i'm like what that very day everything just started working in place in place it was just it just i don't know it was just it was too much it was overwhelming you know and after that the next day after i got my the, my son's um, better kid i went to apply for his passport and brings me to today we are going to pick up his passport and you guys should come with me this is very emotional from like i said and i'm just giving god all the glory all the praise he's awesome please whoever is watching this do not stop trusting god continue praying pray do not cease prayer works god hears you pray please let God and keep on saying this prayer. This is a particular um, thing that I was always saying to God. I said, God, please use my story for your glory. I don't want to take any gratitude. I don't want anybody to take gratitude for what you've done because I know I can come to you directly. I don't need to go to anybody or anything. I come to you directly on my knees. I pray, I cry. So I'm just giving God the glory. So I'm ready now. Let's go and pick up our baby's passport. Yay, my boy is finally a Canadian citizen. Of course he was, but now it's like official. <laughs> Um, cameras are not allowed, so I'm just gonna go in and out. And by God's grace, when we come out, we are with our better kit. I said, but our passports. I'm so happy. God is good. God is so good. I'm so happy. I'm just like, I can't wait to testify. I'm so happy. I'm just, 
I'm just in awe like we have baby boy's passport. He he he's not gonna know what's happening because it's still so little but in future he's gonna say mommy thank you, daddy thank you. <laughs> my boy is sleeping. <laughs> I'm just so excited, you know. This video, this pose, this content is just a gratitude to pose. It's got to start gratitude video, you know. I'm just using this my channel to give thanks to God and like I said earlier on, inspire somebody that's in this kind of situation. Not to this kind of situation, but any situation at all. God always makes a way. He always comes through, he's always on time. Always remember he will perfect what he has started because he's gonna use your story for his glory. Do not be discouraged. And yes, I will film a video on the process of getting a better for a child, as well as the passport application, everything I did, what I went through, I will do a detailed video explaining that to you guys. But yeah, for the time being, this is just this video, I mean and yeah, like I said, I got to sit with you. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah, Rupo. What God cannot do does not exist. Do not stop believing. Bye. You went into the King of Songs and